Brothers and sisters, thank you for being present. Today we're talking about confidence in God. To have confidence in God, it's very important for a Christian. And I would like just to talk about it and uh, maybe it's going to help somebody down there. I don't know this message uh, it addressed it to, I don't know who it addressed it, probably addressed it to you or addressed it to myself. To have confidence in God. It's easy to say I'm a Christian. It is to say that I love God, but do I have confidence in God? Do I, do I have do I trust God? How can I trust God? How can I put my confidence in Him in everything I do? To put the confidence in God is to put the trust in His Word. Is to put the trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus said that in me you might have peace. So in Jesus Christ, that's where our peace is. If you have confidence in Him, you will rely in Him. It's in Him that we have peace. And that has to be actively done. Because if you don't actively trust in God, you will be trusting in yourself. And you know in yourself there is no uh, strength, there is no capacity of resistance. You may resist initially. But at the end, you fall down. You are very temporary. But what put make us eternal, what make us strong in the long run, is the trust in, in God. What makes us, the, the difference between us and others is because our trust is in God. We stay standing years, year after year. For years we stay standing until we go to see the Lord and to stay with the Lord until we we end our time in this earth. So it is important for us to trust in God. Look what I bring to you. It's a very known verse. It's, it's a chapter it's in John, John chapter 14, verse 27. It said, Peace, peace, my uh, Jesus, that's this Jesus. If you are familiar with the Word of God, He said, "Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world give, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid." So the first part. Jesus comes and say, peace I give to you. I was, uh, as I was meditating, I took my bottle of water and say, this is peace. If we consider that as peace, I just wanted to have a picture of it. Jesus comes and find us. Jesus can find you, find me. He say, peace I give to you. No, he say, Let's go exactly what he said. It's a peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Jesus uh, left peace with us. And then he said that the peace with, uh, that I'm living, it's my peace. It's part of me. It's what belongs to me. I give to you. How was Jesus? How was his peace? Is if if he slept with us, how was he when he was arrested in the 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 in Gethsemane? How was he? Was he agitated? Was he very angry or was swearing? Or not? Jesus was in peace. I remember when he was sleeping in that boat. If you know that story, with his disciples, the boat was bounced here and there in. in in, in that ocean or in that water and then all the sudden the, the disciples are screaming and so we're dying here where's jesus oh there he is sleeping he was just relaxing then we can wonder did, did jesus know of course he knew 
but he was called. And it's important when he got up, he say, peace, be still. Peace has to be part, totally part of us. The same thing that Jesus was doing, he said in John 17, talking to his father, he said, the same way you sent me, I'm sending them. And you can see a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, trans transfer of power here. Jesus gave us this power. I give you power. And he talked to mm. it in Mark. He talked to it in uh, even in this in this verse with chapter we read in John uh, chapter chapter uh, fourteen verse twenty seven, clearly saying that peace I live with you, my peace, not the peace of somebody else. You can so Jesus leave us your peace so that we can be strong. We can do exactly what you, you were doing. He, he told us in John, he says to John 14, 12, he would say, he say that you would do greater things. To, you will do more than what I did. Let's have confidence in God. It is important to have confidence in God. Without it, then we are not going to be applying everything he gave to us. He said, peace I give, I live with you. My peace I give to you. Do you believe in it? Do you trust what he said? Do you have peace? Do I have peace? The world won't say that I give you peace. The world believes that the peace given to you I'm already a second cent. Listen to this word. You say, <coughs> I give peace. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. You say, I give you peace. Not as the world give, do I give to you. Not as the world do I give to you. What Jesus didn't give us peace in, in a way that which is equal to what the world, the world gives. The world gives peace and believes that you will be having no issues. But Jesus tells us, he tells, he tells, he tells, he tells, he tells us before the time that the peace I'm giving to you is not like the world gives you. This peace is a continued peace. Peace in the middle of trouble, peace in the all those issues. When trouble comes, what do you do if you have the peace of Jesus Christ? If you have the peace of God, what do you do? Jesus gives us ideas here. He said, let not your heart be troubled. You are responsible of not letting your heart be troubled. Stay at peace. Stay in the peace of Jesus Christ. In the peace of Jesus Christ, we refuse trouble. We refuse anxiety. Oh, everybody gets, gets excited. Everybody gets, uh, think about those kind of stuff. No, no, no. He said, you are responsible for not letting your heart be troubled. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Why the fear? Fear is what fear called fear is stress. When you are stressed, it's, you are afraid. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Refuse fear. Refuse to be troubled in your heart. Jesus was calm at all times. That's what we are supposed to be. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let. It means that you are in charge. You may let it be in trouble. In trouble it. You may let it be afraid. My brother, my sister, we are responsible. For the, the, the peace that Jesus has given us. For this peace to work, we have to be responsible. We have to do our part. 
Jesus did his part. He gave us peace. Our part is not to let our heart be troubled. Our part is not to let peace be uh, be in us, or not, I mean, not to let uh, fear, I meant, not to let fear come to us. That's our part. So we have responsibility in it in order to really have the the, the, the peace that Jesus Christ is talking about. Our responsibility is to have confidence in God. By having confidence in God, it's refusing your heart to be troubled. So you have a, 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 a part to play in this. Jesus said, I gave you my peace. I leave you my peace, I gave it to you. I didn't give you like the world. Then it's up to us now, we're figuring out that no, the world, when the world gives us peace, they say, oh, there's nothing, you're not going to fall. Not. Well, when things happen, what do you do? How do you react? Do you react, you react like your neighbor who does know God? Mm. Do you react like your friend who, who who hates the presence of Jesus Christ? Who doesn't didn't accept Jesus Christ? How do you react? Oh, you are calm because you know in whom you trust. Do you say in God you trust? Yet you act like everybody else. It is important to trust, to have confidence in God. Remember Psalm 91, those who have the refuge in God, their foundation in God, in, with long life this God gives to us. He, 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 he will protect them. He will be with them during the day, during the night, even the flesh sand, they will be stopped because they have confidence in God. God is their refuge. When you consider God as your refuge, it means you have confidence in Him. Jesus told, uh, told, told the disciple in John, uh, John, uh, John, John 16, verse 33, he said that, I told you this because in me you can have confidence. In the world you shall have tribulation. There will be issues. There will be, but in me you have confidence. In me you have peace. I remember when Jesus was saying, have faith in God. You're going to make things happen when you have faith in God. When your heart is not troubled. When your heart is not divided in pieces. One side you want to do this, one side. When too many questions, the anxiety, the fear, those not, those are not supposed to be part of you as a Christian. Refuse those in the name of Jesus. Have confidence in God. Even if things look like they are not going your way. Have confidence in God. You remember the story we spoke about a long time ago. I still don't remember exactly where. But we read it in, in, uh, in Samuel. I don't know if it's the first or second. I believe probably in the first Samuel where we read that the king say, King Saul was troubled. He he. he he was waiting for Samuel to to pray or talk to God before he went goes to war. And Samuel was late, and he was the only one who can talk to God in the, in, in the offer sacrifice. And in and, and because of fear that oh my God, the enemy are getting in, they're gonna catch us. We have to do quick. And he made a mistake. Fear can take you somewhere else. Fear can make you take a wrong decision. And you remember Pilate, we spoke about Pilate before, that Pilate was was more afraid was the, the Jew was saying that you know, well, our king is, uh, is uh, 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 we have the only one king. It's, uh, it, 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 it's, it's not Jesus Christ. Uh, and then by fear of their belief, in the king who was not Jesus Christ, he was afraid because that's what he's supposed to, he's he, he, he not supposed to support Jesus because of whatever he was saying. They say otherwise they would take it, the Mara, to, uh, to Rome and so on. He was afraid and he made a mistake. For me, it's a mistake. But 
That's the way it happened. Fear. You have the power to refuse fear. So I gotta stop here and make it short. I believe the message went through. Thank you for listening. God bless you.